here on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula is one of Australia's largest propagation nurseries. In this shade house alone, there's over one million plants. And in the hothouses, over 1.6 million cuttings. All up across the whole facility, there's over 13 and a half thousand square metres of growing space. To sustain this massive number of plants requires a staggering 40 million litres of water each year. But this isn't a story about waste. It's about the clever use of a very important resource. And that resource is recycled wastewater. How many sort of hectares of? It's 10 acres. 10 about, acres, okay, yeah. so about four, yeah, four, four hectares. Four and a bit hectares. Daniel Mansfield is a third generation plant grower who has his eye firmly fixed on the future of the industry. So what's the main water supply? Our main water supply is A-class recycled sewage water from a local eastern treatment plant down the road. They have a pipe that runs directly through our property and we pump it into our wetland. So this is the start of our wetland area where the wastewater is pumped into the, the initial part of our wetland. So there's no odour? It's obviously very high quality? No, there's no odour at all. Very clear water, it's very high quality water. Plus we capture all the stormwater runoff as well and it comes into here, yep. channels through this vegetation patch here, right. which is a, a bit of a water hedge. So it fills the first pond and then spills through a series of ponds and will take about six months to get through the whole wetland. We then pump it out of the final pond into some holding dams, irrigate it through the nursery, and then we recapture that water back again right at the start of the wetland and reuse it over and over again. So really the water cycling through and you're using that recycled water as your main top up input. Yeah, we estimate we get about 60% of what we irrigate with actually back through the drainage system. So talk us through the processes in the wetland and how that uh, helps improve and maintain water quality. So as the water comes in, it's very high in nutrient load. It goes into the, the wetland, the plants with their root systems and the soil and the microbial action in, in the whole ecosystem then strip all the nutrient out of the water. They store it in their foliage. We harvest that every couple of months. And then that takes the nutrient level down to a safer, usable level for the young plants that we're growing here. The nutrients Daniel's talking about are things like nitrogen and phosphorus. Too much nitrogen can create inconsistent plant growth and excessive phosphorus can be really harmful to some species. But nothing at this place is wasted. So this is where all the harvested vegetation ends up? Yeah, this is our composting recycling area where basically all our harvested vegetation from the wetland, our recycled green waste from excess cutting production and also our recycled potting mix comes to be recycled, composted and then put back out onto the mother stock beds as organic matter. Okay, so it's not just the recycled water being used here but also you're reusing all of the organic matter on the side as yeah, well. Yeah, all, all the organic matter that we use in producing plants, uh, soil, green waste, we reuse over and over again yeah. uh, to recycle everything that we use. Fantastic. So this is the source of all of your propagation material? Yeah, this is our mother stock facility where we come each morning and harvest all the, the cuttings and take them inside to be produced each day. And is all this on recycled water also? Yeah, every bed out here is, is irrigated with recycled water by a drip line under the okay. mulch. So tell us how critical water security is to the business. Well, it's the lifeline of our business. In uh, the drought, the most recent drought that we had, we were looking to move to stage four water restrictions, which meant that we could only irrigate for two hours a day. Now, our irrigation cycle time at the moment is about 14 hours, so it would have meant we had to close the doors. In terms of reduction on mains water use from your the systems from the recycling? Once we got the, the system fully up and running, uh, we've been able to reduce our mains water reliance by about 95%. The cost benefits are quite dramatic when you consider we're using 30, 40 million litres of water a year and the price of water, mains water, is ever increasing. The cost savings have been quite dramatic and allowed us to invest in other areas of our business and what we would have been using on spending on water. Were you always convinced that this was a good way to go? To be honest, initially I was a little sceptical that um, a wetland would be able to clean commercial volumes of water that we needed to a point 
to a level we needed to be able to grow our plants uniformly and to the quality that we would like. Uh, after six months uh, of testing the water, we could see the nutrient levels drop down to basically mains water levels. So the success has surprised you? Very much so, yeah, very much so. Last year, the nursery won the Silver Rose, a highly prestigious international industry award based not only on business performance, innovation and product, but also environmental and social responsibility. So how important is this approach to the future of the industry, do you think? Uh, it's, it's massively important. Nurseries need to be able to break their reliance on mains water if they're going to continue to grow their businesses and supply plants to the industry.